Hi all, welcome back to more Imperion. Hal here, and as you can see, we have our crops growing nicely. We have done a little bit of exploring and almost gotten ourselves killed, so yeah. <laughs> anyway, oh, so what we're going to do today is we're going to get our base, our actual base, up and running, and we're going to start doing a little bit of production. But first, we have to get it started, so let's go. Okay, everybody, so we have made a bunch of stuff. We have picked up that stuff, and we are going to head west. Well, at least a little bit west. We're heading over to the where the water is at over here uh, to set up our new base, because as you saw in the last playthrough, <laughs> we want to have our base very, very well protected. And that means using the uh, the natural environment to our advantage there we go all right so let's turn our light on uh because as you can see we've got about an in-game hour which is eh, about five minutes or so before we uh, thought i saw a drone before we uh, have some daylight over here now i want to make sure this actually looks about yeah it's about where i wanted i originally thought i was going to put it over here um, but I'm thinking I'm actually, I will put it over on this side. Then what we'll do is we'll, if we need to, we'll go flatten out some area over there so that we can maybe get an HV in there or something. Um, but for now, let's go ahead and get this going. I'm going to go ahead. Oh, let me make sure we've got this where we want it. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to set a waypoint. Yes. Yeah, it might be a little too close, but that's okay. Right, so let's go ahead. Stone removal, resource mining. Ah. Now, I did go over to the starport. I actually teleported up into the uh, orbital space station as well. And there is no large crafting system available. So <laughs> what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to actually basically break into the hill. We're going to have to then place our core and all of our starter gear and get our manufacturing processes up and running. Unfortunately, this means that we're going to have to do all of this uh, on portable oxygen. So, <laughs> oh, yeah, it's been one of those days. So let's get this going. Now, the big thing that I'm going to run into is that I'm, I'm basically wanting to go conf as straight as possible. Actually, that's right. Go a little bit more east here. And we're going to keep moving ourselves in. Now, one of the things that we have to worry about that didn't used to be a problem. You used to be able to make explosives with the temporary or the emergency crafting station. That's actually been moved into the large crafter, as have some of the initial weapons and things. So now you basically are very limited in what you can produce without being on a, a large constructor. So, oh well, is what it is. It's fine. It just means we have to do a little bit more work to get there. Now, I wasn't planning on this particular series because of the fact that it's a, a mission-based series to really delve too far into base building or, you know, real crafting. But, uh, you know, being what it is, <laughs> the game has once again decided to give me grief. So, eh, it's fine. How far in are we? Not nearly far enough yet. Okay, so let's go ahead and pick this stuff up. Just to get it out of the way. Alright. And then here we're going to basically head pretty much directly to the cabin. 
and this will help keep us pointed in the right direction. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do a cut. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of a time lapse here while we while we work on this. And once we get a little further along, I'll bring you back and we'll talk about where we are and what the plan is. All right. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. <laughs> All right, so now that we've gotten most of this out of the way, we're going to place that. And before anyone asks, yes, I did place it there intentionally. Oh, uh, let's see here. We want our concrete blocks. Why? Because we need to get the foundation in. And we want to tie this into the terrain so that we get as much support on it as possible, obviously. All right, let's try that again, shall we? There we go. And there. All right. And what we're going to do is we're going to put a doorway in over here somewhere. But right now, we're more worried about, like I said, we're more worried about our stuff surviving than we are about looking pretty. So, we are going to say, let's put two there. All right. And what I may end up doing is I may, I wanna make sure we can get in through here. Okay, so we can get in there. Put that there, that there. All right, so when we come through, oh, that's not good, that's not good. <laughs> oh, that was bad. Um, yeah. So let's head out here. See if we can take care of the spider really quickly. I really don't like the spiders in this game. Not sure. Okay. Aha. Hmm. We don't have an antidote with us. This isn't going to be good. All right. At least I don't think we have antidote with us. Do we have antidote with us? Anti-radiation. Crap. All right. So let's get this stuff placed. Hopefully get this stuff placed as quickly as possible. Oh, uh, you know what? Uh, I don't know which way it's actually going to end up being better. All right, so let's grab this. We're gonna grab this and we're just gonna drop all of like the resources and everything in here. And you as well. Be really nice if we had something that showed us our status effects. <laughs> Uh, but of course, that would be entirely too easy. So we're going to drop you there. Drop you there. Now, do we... Oh, we don't have power on us. We, <laughs> we just put it all over here. Now, what I should really be doing is placing everything else down so that we can get everything done first. So we're going to turn that on. 
see if we have the materials for this. First things first, we are going to make us a door. We are going to make a food processor. We're going to make a fridge. And we are going to make an oxygen generator. Now, all of that's running. Let's make sure we have these. We are going to leave these behind. Leave a couple of the O2 tanks over here because I don't have a storage facility for them right this moment. I'm going to leave the food here. And we're going to go see if we can, uh, we're going to armor this up a little bit. So we go there. All right. Dig this out so that we can get in and out of our base. All right. And now what we're going to do, switch over to this, make sure we don't have anything hostile in our area again. Awesome. And we are going to try and make it back to the cabin before we die from the snake bite. So looking at how this thing is handling, we are probably not going to make it. <laughs> But we're gonna give it a try. Actually, don't you guys have some kind of healing property? Yes, but not nearly enough for what we needed for. Okay. Let's put that. That's one of the things that I really don't like about the game is that they have so many status ailments now. Basically everything and anything can give you a status ailment. And it's just, it takes a lot of the fun out of the game. Um, it wasn't too bad before when it was things like, you know, you could be bleeding or bite or whatever. But when they started putting in all of the different poison effects and everything, that just really seems to have taken something from the game. Oh, hello. Well, at least it didn't fling us into orbit this time. All right. Yeah, so we've gotten to the point where the hostile creatures are starting to spawn. Now, anything here? No. Yeah, see, we need... Uh, this is really frustrating to have. Antidote pills. Oh, thank you. <laughs> All right, so we're going to take that with us. By the time we are back, we should have our own fridge over there. So we're going to grab... Uh, you know what? We can leave those here. We'll take this with us. We'll take this with us. We're going to leave that stuff here. We're going to leave power running so that these things will continue to grow. Now, I am worried. That's what I was worried about. We basically have a spider under the base. All right. Now, can we get to you without you getting to us is the question. Nope, doesn't look like it. Here we go. Come on. Hello. Uh. <sighs> All right, so that's one less spider on the planet to deal with, which means, you know, we've got two minutes before another one shows up. <laughs> All right. All right, so let's get ourselves back over to our new base. Okay, the number of spiders is just too damn high. <laughs> that is rather crazy.
Alright, so... But now you're... So, I think now that people understand a little bit more about why I build underground sometimes, especially in games like this. Alright. And what we're going to do is we're eventually going to have it set up. We're going to turn the light on so we can see. So first things first, let's get our fridge in. Let's, let's try that again, shall we? There we go. Because then we can drop all of this stuff. These things don't require any power. We are going to... Eh, sure. We do want it to be airtight, so that is something we have to worry about. Because eventually we will have a uh, ventilation system in here, which means I'm going to have to basically close this entire thing off. Oh, before I forget, since we can actually build this now, where is it? Oh, what am I missing? Advanced CPU. What am I? What do I need for that? Neodymium. Of course we do. Oh, that was the worst change, man. All right. Okay, so we can't build that yet, but we can. Let's go ahead and put this down. We're going to put this down over here. Oh, yeah, before I forget, since we have it, may as well just go ahead and use it. Use the concrete here. Now the nice thing is, is that this will allow us to basically build a uh, an airtight base. Let's see, so it's not going to be overly comfortable, but it doesn't need to be. We do need to hollow some of this out though. Oh, all right. Again, though, this is, really is just a we need a place to sleep kind of thing. So, and does that me or does that look like that may have? See, so yeah, I didn't need to go up a little bit. So, we're going to go number. Come on. Hey, there we go. That actually worked in our favor. So we're going to go one, two, three. And I caught myself on a small lip up here. All right. So basically what I did is I exploited part of the physics. Um, there's this interesting little thing with the physics system that if you're standing on top of terrain, when it t when it starts to go away, let's pick all this stuff up. Uh, what happens is you get left at that level, or you'll start to drift slowly. Uh, doesn't happen all the time, but I sometimes can get it to happen much more frequently than it probably should. <laughs> but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie I uh, I'm not that worried about it all right come here I just really need you to get out of the way so I can make this thing airtight
And what we can do is once we have the base actually sealed to the point where we can do things like, you know, um, breathe, <laughs> not have to worry about suffocating, what we'll do is we'll come back through and we can start expanding it out a bit. Um, but yeah, I'm not too broken up about it right this second. So we're going to take it to there, bring this over. Now what we want to do here is we're going to go like so. And this is going to be cleared out. So we're basically going to have this little bit of room when everything's said and done. No. All right, so let's go ahead and clear this out. Now I might take it back one more. Because what I could do. Yeah, yeah, I know you can't drill the, the concrete block. So what I might do is to take this back a little bit to give us a little bit more room over here uh, so that we can put in, because we're going to have to put in an oxygen tank. We're going to have to put in, there you go. So we'll put an oxygen tank probably here. We'll put an oxygenator here and then like an O2 station right here. And what we'll be able to do is after we have that in place, is we'll be able to get all of this sealed up and get everything going. So just need a little bit more over here. See, while I do some weird stuff from time to time, there is usually a reason for it. And we can start taking away some of these waypoints once we're done. Now, the biggest benefit to this is that we don't have to worry about drone raids. Um, I don't know if they are a thing in this particular game mode, but it would be my luck that they are, so I really don't want to deal with them if I don't need to. All right, so we're just trying to get to the point where we can see that square there. Because oh. once we can see that square, we can go way up to there. Go ahead and start taking out this portion of the ceiling. Uh, they really do make this much more difficult than it needs to be. This whole, you can't use the advanced drill now, the tier two drill, without having the advanced AI. Really, really frustrating. Bad change. I mean, I understand why they did it. It's just, it really does hurt gameplay a little bit there. Uh, mainly because of the fact that you can't get the things that you really need to survive in this game right now. All right, so we're going to do this. And we are going to go that way a wee bit. Okay, so that gives us most of that. So make sure this is actually connected. Okay, so all of that's good. That means all of this is good. It's 
Awesome. It's actually nice when things somewhat work out for us here. And now that we have all of this sorted, did we get the block that we needed there? No, but that's okay because we can do that. Boom, and we have a sealed room. Okay, this is good. Since we now have a sealed room, we can do, let's go over here to electronics. We want one of these. We want one of these. We want one of these. And you are a clone chamber. So while we're waiting for that, let's open up our tech tree. We want Oh, level 10 is what we need for the medic station. Didn't that used to be level... I could have sworn that used to be like level 5 or level 7. Hmm. That's not good. Okay. Nope. Oh, out of O2. Let's go ahead and... Get our O2 back up here for a second. I'll place that. What am I stuck on? How am I stuck on you? All right. And what we can do is on this side, we can put in, uh, we'll put cargo or something over here, or we can leave this open for, well, we don't really need a bigger generator. All right. But we do need the ventilator. We do need the oxygen tank. We got this, we got this. We have our oxygen generator. Let me grab some power. I want to grab... I don't know, we'll grab 20 of those. I honestly don't remember offhand how much it can uh, use. Now, for this, I am going to... Let's see. Because I can put a large power, uh, fuel tank there, which I think I'm going to do. So we'll go ahead and put you there. Can actually... Can I make a large fuel system yet? Make that one does not look like it. All right, we can fix that. I should be able to, nope, level 10. Yeah, arbitrary changes on difficulty. Okay, drop this in there, drop that in there. Now we are going to go over here. See how there you go awesome so we now have oxygen being produced oh, all right this is a good thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna actually because we want this whole thing to actually be protected so we're going to go like that. As long as I can get through here, that's all I'm really worried about. Okay. So now all we really need to do is let's open that up a little bit, make it a little, a little bit more homey in here, right? What I might do is I may put a, uh, a sentry turret right here. So in case anything comes down here, like any of the spiders or anything, it'll basically defend it for me. Oh, so now we just need to clean this stuff up, get some things processing and get on with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and call this one here. I want to thank you all for stopping in today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments, throw them down in the section below. Uh, next time when we come back, we will probably be, I'll probably do a lot of resource gathering off camera. 
and uh, we'll start working on our SV to get us up into space so that we can get the ship that's up there. All right. So on that note, I'm out of here. Hope you all have a fantastic day. Enjoy your week, and we will see you back here next time for more Imperion. As always, folks, take care and be safe out there, everybody. Oh, need a better process for mass eating. <laughs> Man. Oh, I still have to get the O2 system up, too. Huh.